Welcome back guys in the ChemBio Office tutorials. In the last video we learned about the main interface of ChemDraw and its different toolbars. In this video we'll proceed a bit further. So we'll open ChemDraw and here you go. I'll just yeah zoom it out a little bit to make the page more visible. So today we'll learn about the file menu first. So here is the file menu. If you click on file, you will get different options. Like, uh, remember that we selected the Wille document in the previous video. And so now we can see the option new Wiley document. So you can, uh, it is, by default appearing here now and you can open a different one if you want from open style sheets and then different style sheets or you can just simply say new a4 document without any particular settings if you want a plain document and then the next thing is um, how to save a file for example, we have a structure or something like this. We want to save it. So there is a save option or save as option, whatever is convenient for you. So if you select, for example, a desktop and here are save as type. There are a lot of options in which you can save with ChemDraw. So usually if we want to edit the files later we save them as game draw document cdx but you can have you can save in different other options like image formats for example bmp gif jpeg and what are the other ones you we also have tiff and png image and eps so whatever is convenient for you um, if you want your images um, to appear in the PowerPoint slides with background deleted, you can keep PNG image and then delete the background using a, some software like Photoshop or something similar. But um, the best is usually to copy directly from ChemDraw in the PowerPoint slides. But if you want to export as pictures, you have different other options like we can save it as a jpeg picture for example we save it as so now it's us telling that it cannot be opened by scam draw afterwards if you're saving it as jpeg so here is the jpeg now if you double click it do you have any other options yes select photo viewer so here is your cam draw image as a jpeg so these were different file options but usually i'll recommend to save it as chem draw all right the next thing is page setup so page setup is all about the setup of your page how it will appear in the print and what are the settings so the size of the page is currently a4 you can select a variety of papers from here and then orientation portrait or landscape you can see the preview here this is landscape and then margins you can select the margins left right top bottom and the they appear in inches so 0.5 inch from left 0.5 inch from right you can increase or decrease it depending on your requirement so that's about page setup what is the next thing is document settings i'll not go into print setup because that relates more to the printer and it's standard like microsoft word or other software print command is same and we'll come to document settings this is a good place for quite a lot of settings so if we want to make our document bigger the page there is one limitation in chem bio office that it does not 
um, give you pages like Microsoft Word, so you can scroll down and get the next page, next page. It just makes the document, um, makes all the pages together. Like it just puts a line between in the middle and you say this is one page, this is the other page, and you can draw bigger objects on that. So here you can specify the height. How many pages do you want uh, for height and for width? and then margins and you can open the page setup from here as well and change the units as well from inches to centimeter points or picas the next setting is drawing we're not going to header and footer that's not so important here drawing is very important here we can select the line width and um, bold width so for example you see this structure the lines and the line width is 0 0.0104 all right i'll change it to 0 0.0204 and click ok it is asking the modified setting will affect newly drawn objects only do you want to modify the existing objects as well no because we want to compare how the newly drawn ones look like so look this is we change the bold width and now things are changed so i'll put them on a side so you can have a look on them and we'll open the document settings again so now we'll make it 204 to 304 okay no and we'll draw it again see we we can see that um, whatever width for the line you like you can select it in these settings and then comes the bold width bold width can also be controlled similarly like we make it 461 okay and now the bold bonds will be very much bolder so that's how you can change these settings in document settings and what is the next text captions so we put normal text in cam draw that the that comes as Arial regular 12 size and you can change these settings here if you don't want the Arial font you want some other font you can select it here you want by default bold italic or just regular or just bold you can select and the size if you click ok then all of these settings will be um, saved automatically and your new text will appear in the format you want so I'll keep it as Arial regular 12 and after that there is another setting atom labels atom labels is the labels which you put for example we want to put a nitrogen here or any other atom oxygen so that is the atom labels so you can also select what size um, for the atom labels so that's also aerial regular 12 but you can of course change that and the style formula so by default it makes um, if you write ch2 it automatically moves to in the subscript so that's the formula style and then colors you can select the background color and the foreground color so the default foreground color is black and background color is white but you can change these from here from the document settings in camdraw all right so that was about the file menu and do we have anything else mm, not really we'll cover these things later on all right so next is we'll move to edit so here you have undo drawing and redo the so that's the standard keys in Windows, Control Z and Shift Control Z to redo. And then cut, copy, paste. 
you have the shortcut keys written over here delete is for clear control is definitely select all and that's that's it and you can paste smiles or in cheese structures or different other things if you are really into it then you can go to these settings otherwise we're not going to cover these in these tutorials and then comes the view settings view menu so from view we can turn on different toolbars so the thing I like is showing these grid lines so you can see that um, these structures pretty much look on the same height but actually they are not exactly on the same height so you can of course align them automatically which we'll cover later on but there is another thing if you click on view and show crosshair you can see that these lines appear they, these lines are actually not included in the print but they just appear so you can set your document so I'll just attach it to the top line and this one as well so select a full structure just double click on any of its bond and it will be selected like any of the bond or any atom double click and it selects the full structure can draw structure so now you see I align them with the top line and now they are at the same height and um, these lines are grid lines are really handy and helpful and they help you make your document look better what else was there you can show rulers as well like you can see inches and the page size and wherever you move the cursor you can see that there is a here at the top there is indication where is your cursor at the moment so that's the ruler and then there are different toolbars like show main toolbar this is the main toolbar show biopolymer toolbar we can show the biopolymers toolbar and we can draw these in chem bio draw like amino acid sequences and etc similarly you can show bio draw toolbar and now you can also draw cells organelles and different things that's quite cool in chem bio draw and then you can see different other toolbars and windows so you can show the periodic table window from here and you can click on any element and it shows you its name and you can draw it here when you click on it and then draw it here so that's pretty handy tool in game bio draw and here you can click and see all the other properties of this uh, element which you selected it's isotopes melting boiling points density etc and discoverer so that's very good thing about Kim draw so you can close it and show this periodic table window again from here where was it here and that is all about the view menu so i hope you enjoyed this and we'll try to cover some more topics and how to draw good uh, molecules um, quickly in the next video i don't want to make the videos too longer to make you bored that's why i keep the video length uh, reasonable so that was all about it we'll see you next time bye bye